Hello everybody, how's it going? I'm here today to show you the Logitech customization software that comes with the Logitech Performance MX mouse as seen here and the Anywhere MX mouse as seen here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to go into full screen view of my computer, a screen recording, and I have the mouse in picture in picture view right at the bottom of your screen. First, let me go ahead and demonstrate what I have each button set up to do. The first accessory button is clicking down on the scroll wheel. And as you can see, when I do click down on the scroll wheel, I launch Mission Control. Uh, in Mission Control, you can see I have my dashboard, my internet browser, my iTunes, a bunch of open windows. There's my YouTube channel right there. Go ahead and subscribe. Uh, shameless plug. And let's go ahead and close that right back into my full window. Um, if I go ahead and depress this thumb button right here, I launch Launchpad and I can scroll through all my apps. And there we go. Uh, I like that button there because I do launch applications frequently and it's nice to be able to do that without having to go into the bottom of your screen and actually click on Launchpad. Alright, now let's go ahead and talk about a couple more buttons. Let me make sure my camera is nice and focused. Let's talk about this button right here. This button right here, you can very hardly see it. It says zoom. If I go, some people have that set up, so if they're visually impaired or they just like to zoom in on specific windows, the, you can zoom in. I actually have that functionality set up, pressing control and scrolling back and forth, but I don't really use that that much. So uh, I don't need to zoom in very often, so I don't use the zoom button right here if I press the zoom button you see this come up this is Alfred and I'll do an in-depth review of Alfred it's a free application that I absolutely love a little bit later on uh, I'll make a video about it but for right now um, that's Alfred and it launches it and now for the more interesting feature buttons I have set up uh, if I go back I switch into a new window and you can see there's my screen recording set up if I go back again Ah, it's my channel. Look at that. Uh, yeah, there you go. And then the forward button goes back and forth in between windows as well. Um, I also have left and right click. You can see left click here doesn't do anything. I can click on that, click on that. If I do right click, new folder, I can clean the desktop up. Okay, uh, so now that I've showed you what my buttons do, I am going to... Uh, show you how to customize the buttons on either the Logitech Performance MX or the Logitech Anywhere MX. Uh, for the dem demonstration purposes though, I am going to use the Performance MX because it's set up on my desktop, which is what I'm recording this uh, uh, video on. As you can see over here in the corner, my uh, laptop is in the screensaver mode. Um, but I assure you that the procedure is the same for both mice. Um, so first what you're going to want to do is also open system preferences. If you don't know where that is, you can click on the Apple and then system preferences. Well actually first, no. So the first time you get, uh, you open your mouse. If you have the performance, you'll most likely get a CD that comes with it. If you have the anywhere, uh, you will have to download it from the internet. But it's very easy to find on the Logitech website uh, and you install the software and you run it and you do have to restart your computer afterwards which is a bit of a hassle but given how convenient, convenient the software is once it is installed it's 100% worth it. So once you have the software installed it's very easy you download it and you follow the setup wizard. What you have to do is launch system preferences it's in the Apple and then you can click system preferences right here or if you're me and you already have stuff installed I have it so you press the lower thumb button right here and it launches Launchpad and I've already showed you that but we're gonna go into system preferences and I've already showed you that but we're gonna go into system preferences and you go to the Logitech Control Center uh, when you install the software it installs this in your system preferences pane under the other option so what we're going to do is zoom in here a little bit. I'm going to put this up in the corner so I can make my view of the mouse a little bit bigger. Whoops. Alright. So let's go ahead and launch the control center. There we go. So if you have... Yes, my battery level is low. Um, if you have more than one device plugged into the unifying receiver, 
it will show more than one device. However, I do not have the unifying receiver set up with this computer. If you do have the you want to set up the unifying receiver software, you can just press this button right here and it'll set it up for you and the setup is very easy. All right, so anyway, to configure the mouse, you click on it and it highlights blue and then you say configure. Uh, and you see you get this configure window right here. Uh, before we go into the configuration though, if you click on the general tab, it shows you the battery level. Mine is low right now. I've been using it a lot today for video editing and the tracking speed multiplier. But let's go back into the buttons, which is how you customize it. You can customize any action that this mouse does except for the actual tracking, uh, but I don't see why you'd want to do that anyway. So for this demonstration, we're going to do this button right here, the lower thumb button. Uh, but it's exactly the same for any button. You just click on it and it shows you what it does. Um, but as you can see right now, I have this key command set up, Command L. And if you hit Command L on this computer, it launches Launchpad. And I'm zoomed in so you don't see the whole Launchpad. But the same exact thing happens when I hit this button. And you can set the key, the key, can, the key commands excuse me, in the keyboard settings in the system preferences pane. It's right there. It's very easy to do. Um, so what you do is if you want to change it, you can make this do anything. Mission control you can set mission control to work right from here. You don't have to do anything. And boom, mission control goes into there. I'll zoom out so you can see that. Boom, mission control. Oh yeah, I changed the background. It's not the stock background back here. I can show you guys how to do that too, but there's already videos of how to do that. All right, back in here. Sorry, I'm getting off track. Okay, so um, you don't want to do mission control. You want to do a key command. Well, you just put the keystroke in, and then you can type whatever key you want to do. Um, and you can set keystrokes for pretty much anything in the System Preferences keyboard window, and it shows you how to do it. It's very simple. However, I'm going to set it back to do the launch pad by setting this up. And now, hey, what do you know? I have launch pad back. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.